definitely some outrage about that new song that uh, I believe his name is Brandon Jamal created about single moms. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from I'm Benzo. Single moms avoided by men going their own way. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's give that child. It's child time. What is your plan B if no one marries you? Honestly, Ace, I just, I hope to perish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I hope to perish because I've, I've really learned, husband? I've really learned like being around you guys, especially you, Ace Metaphor, oh, and shit. Richie and Rico, that my purpose solely depends on whether or not a man chooses me. Yeah, and if he does right. it, then yes, what I'm am happy, I here I'm, for? I'm, I'm happy so proud of you and your growth. Thank, Thank you. you. Your growth is so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. And it's now inspiring my growth. At least now they know. Time for your next adventure. Nah, the wall. I have no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow. The wall. How exciting. <laughs> Why is dating a single mother so hard for me? Because they're ungrateful. She's one of the few lucky ones. I mean, doesn't always happen to everybody. So don't be rarely that uh, you're gonna have uh, kids and then he not suffer the consequences of not getting married which is a black one is this real life i think i'm losing my mind the dumbest thing a man can do making music videos or views of videos like that with your child in there really really you as date a single mom and i'm saying this as a single mom myself the only exception to the rule is if the man has kids himself and he's a single dad. That's the only rule that is the exception. Where do you live? In the city. Do you have a house? Apartment. On a rent? Rent. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. How come? I don't need one. Where's your wife? Don't have one. How come? It's a long story. Do you have kids? No, I don't. I'll come. It's an even longer That's the financial assist. It's funny, like that little voiceover thing matches my life so perfectly. <laughs> I mean, she's making whether you'll be able to take care of our kids. Okay, so I have a genuine question. Um, where in this day and age do you find men? Like good actual men? Tinder, no. Hinge, no. Bumble, that's a joke. Um, coworkers, no. No, 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 no. That is banned. That is a joke as well. Um, you need, no, don't be ridiculous. Um, I don't reckon you'd find someone at a bar or clubbing. No. Festival, also no. Also, like, do I have the money to go to a festival every month? No. Um, like, genuinely, where do you find men? Where do you find your men? Nowhere. Nowhere. In my dreams. In your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am telling you, I literally moved states from Tasmania to Melbourne. Maybe I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll find a man here. No, wrong. No, she's from Canada. Absolutely wrong. Canada. Like, am I meant to move countries? Probably. Probably we'll find one on the coast of Greece. I don't know. Um, Croatia or something. Possible. I mean, that's why we tell men to travel. Passport bros. I don't know how well it works for you guys, though. Maybe someone in Paris. I don't know. Definitely not in Melbourne. Like, am I just meant to go for a stroll along the beach and then find the love of my life? Probably not. Am oh, I meant Melbourne to find them at a Australia. supermarket? No. Um, where did you find your man? Like, probably all the good ones are gone, you know what I mean? It's pronounced as Croatia, and uh, you're probably not gonna find uh, men in those places because uh, women have accused men of uh, being creepy and, uh, you know, it's all sorts of things. So you're not gonna find men that will approach you in those areas that you're talking about, and you hit the wall. There's apparently some outrage about that new song that uh, I believe his name is Brandon Jamal created about single moms. And um, so to that, I just want to say and highlight a few things for you. So one, um, being a single mom um, is something that in only America, uh, people wear as a badge of honor. So, I mean, it's it's as simple as it's now part of your introduction. Hi, my name is such and such and I'm a single mom. Like nobody asked. Nobody. This is not about your kids. Nobody asked. <laughs> I know you're not finna let the 
dissed at the Umale concert. Nah. Get more followers off his 15 minutes of fame than me. The nigga who gave you a summer anthem. You nigga follow me. Now you're single mom. <laughs> Eight out of ten women who are childless didn't intend to be childless. Give the man some support. Go to his fucking TikTok page and give him some likes. That single mom anthem is a wonderful summer anthem. It's called involuntary childlessness. Right? Most of them just hit the wall and nobody wanted them. Men were going their own way, so they hit the wall. Some of them were just in the streets and, uh, you know, <laughs> they loved the streets so much, so they couldn't come out of to find a good man to have kids with and they settle down. Ugh, getting on my nerves. Mm. How I feel about women proposing. They desperate and stupid and don't think no one ever will propose to them. So they yep. got down on one knee and said, you know what? If they ain't going to do it for me, I'm going to do it for them because I know that nobody will ever propose to me. Let me ask y'all a question, those who are housing these guys and doing the most. Wouldn't you rather put all that energy and focus and money on yourself to improve yourself? so that you could get the type of man that will do things for you. This is the exact advice we would give men. <laughs> Why get married? Why spend all this money on this? Spend that money on yourself. Focus on yourself. Go travel. Improve your skills. Improve your career. And find a good woman out there as a passport, bro. Instead of you doing everything for them, wouldn't you like to refocus all that energy money and effort towards making yourself the type of person that doesn't need to do all of that stuff to keep a broke man <laughs> and won't even want a broke man after you have put all that energy and effort to yourself and improving who you are and how you think and how you operate and how you live in this world how you look don't you think it would that would be time and energy and money better spent on yourself wait a minute <laughs> Get out. Get, no, get out my house. You can get out your stuff. Okay, get your stuff. Get your stuff. Go get your stuff. Go get your boots outside. Okay, there's nothing else in here for you. Go. I like how I said outside. Okay, then go. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Didn't see in the night. Yeah, I would never be sussing around you. I just want to record you. Dad, waking man. Get out. Get out my house. The house that Get out my house. Get out. Bye. Get out. Please stop. Get out my house. Please This is for my safety. Get out my house. What do you mean for your safety? Get out my house. So are you gonna tell the same camera that you hit me earlier? Yes, because you won't get out my house. It's technically in, in my rights as a person that this is you're in my dwelling and I'm you telling you to get out and you're not getting out. You you're, I'm telling you to get out and you won't get out. That is not if that logic works, then that means men that are in their own dwelling can beat the shit out of all women, right? Because it's their dwelling. I mean, just because you're I told in you here. to get off me and all you wouldn't right, get off me and now you're right, pregnant. All right, get off. Can you get out my house? Can you get out my house? Can you get out my house? Just get out my house. You're not on this lease agreement. You have nothing tied to this. Get out I, my house. Well, technically, you said that I was on the lease. No, you weren't. No, you told me that you added me. No, to the I people. never said that. I, I added you. To, did you? Did you? Did you message. sign a mat? Did you sign the lease agreement downstairs say you in the added apartment? Me to the lease agreement. Oh, uh, yes, what I you said just you said. Me. I have it on camera. Get out. Oh, you said I have uh, nothing tied to part, here. Just walk part, away, bro. Okay, so guys, you've seen when you start living with the woman, and then you are putting up maybe even. Um, most of the rentals or maybe even all of it you're paying and then you ask about okay the disagreement she'll tell you oh i've added you on the disagreement maybe i've even uh, uh reshared to the landlord so this man here without knowing better that he needed to sign a new disagreement where he's added on he does the initial maybe on each page and then he signs that or is uh, also part of uh, that lease he trusted his woman in the, without knowing better. I mean, he, who knows? Maybe he's been paying uh, for, for, for most of the expenses and uh, everything that, you know, the day to day expenses, monthly expenses. Maybe he's doing it. Shout out to Benzo. Don't put yourself in that position, man. Don't live under a woman's roof. Earn your own way. Have your own place. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.